Let's go around. There we go. Hey, there we go. There we go. Good evening, everyone. God bless you. Thank you all for joining us tonight here at our Wednesday night, what would normally be our Wednesday night Bible study, but this night we decided that we're going to do something special, something different, and something that we pray will encourage not only your hearts, but it will also reach the heart of God tonight. And so thank you so much for, for you all for joining us. I, I put out a, 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 a shout out there earlier today trying to get all of uh, our, our partners and members that are here locally to come on in because tonight we want to do something special tonight. We want to have a night of Thanksgiving, but in that Thanksgiving, we want to hear, um, you know, testimonies. Earlier this month, you decided that, that it was on your heart that we would go every day and give God something, you know, to, to thank God for, you know. And so you've been doing that through, throughout the whole month. Today is, what, the 28th? 28th, and so we're 28th. 29th. 29th? Already? Yeah. Man. So today is the 29th, and so for 29 days, you know, she's been feeding, um, or, or, or I say feeding, but uh, why don't you describe what you've been doing? Well, I mean. Because you're a better describer than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, just on our social media page, on the ministry social media page, we've just put up uh, a post just asking people to engage and just say something that they are thankful for. Oh, daily. Yes. You've been daily. doing it daily. Mm -hmm. And so, and but tonight, what we decided to do was, and this was several weeks ago, we said that tonight we were going to open up the floor for anyone who has a testimony, and, and, and any one of your testimonies for the last 29 days, just take an opportunity for those of you that are here, as well as those of you that are watching us virtually. In fact, someone's going to have to monitor, uh, but if you have a, a, a um, testimony and you would love, love to share online, we'll read your testimony out loud tonight. Um, you even have a capability of calling us, and we can just kind of like put you on the loudspeaker, put a mic up to it so the whole world can hear your testimony. Yeah, because, it, yeah, I mean, we've done that before. So we're just, you, you can call in. For those of you who don't know uh, the hotline, the hotline is the pastor's line. The hotline is 706 566 2785. Again, that's 706. 566-2785. That's if you don't want to type all your whole ent entire testimony. You can just call in. I'll, I got my phone right here, and we'll put you on loudspeaker. And, I mean, I think that's going to be phenomenal just to hear your testimony and what God has done in your life. And it could be just one of the days that you've been recording. It could be today. It could be anything. And I I'm not even going to say it has to be something that happened this month. I just want to hear testimonies. I mean, I just get excited when I hear what God has done in the lives of other people. I know what he's done in mine, and sometimes with me being up here every Sunday, you all may get tired of my voice and telling you what God has done for me, but I, can, I don't think I'll ever get tired of hearing the voices of God's people of what God has done in their lives, because it does two things for me, probably more than two things. Number one, it substantiates the fact that I'm, I'm not walking the wrong race, <laughs> that I'm in the right race, that, that I got witnesses. The Bible talks about that we have a host of witnesses, a cloud of witnesses. And he's talking about those that are, have already preceded us, that, that's in heaven, but as well as those that are here with us on this earth. We have witnesses that can testify to what God has done in our lives, to what God has done in their lives. And it just lets me know, man, I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. And then the second thing it does for me, it encourages me to go out and tell somebody else about what God has done in my life. It, it, it gives me boldness it's, uh, because I, I feel like I'm not alone. You know, you know when you're alone and you can do something by yourself, you're kind of like kind of shaky and nervous because you feel like you're alone. But when you got support, you know, you up in there, you like, I ain't got to worry about it, you know, because my, my help meet is with me, my partner. You know, we call up, you know, the brother said, we, you know, we got covenant relationships. So we, so we call each other covenant brothers, right. and we like to lock arms. Okay. And so when we go out there, am I right, Deacon? We go out there, and we, go, we lock arms, and we go out there together. And so, so we, that's what tonight's going to be all about. So we got, we got some songs that we want to sing. Uh, we got some food. For those of you that's on your way, we're going to try to save you some. If you get here too late, I can't promise you because I'm telling you, Sister Mary put a foot in it. And so y'all know, if y'all know anything about Sister Mary's cooking, y'all better get here early because, we look, I'm, as soon as I get done off the stage, I'm going straight to the table. All right? And so we're going to pray, we're going we're gonna to pray, we're going to give, the, give uh, 
uh, God some glory, just opening up. We're going to pray. We're going to bless the food. And then we're just going to have a good time. I don't even know what the night's going to look like, unfold. I don't know how it's going to unfold tonight. All right. I have no idea. It's like I'm just re- releasing God just to, you know, and I know that may sound like I got power to re- release God. It's not that I got power to release God, but I know that there are times that God sits back and wait for us to get out of the way. So when I say I'm going to release God, I'm saying I'm going to get out of God's way and let God do whatever it is that he wants to do tonight. Just get out of his way. It's not going to be the, the I'm, I'm getting rid of all the formalities, you know, all the things that we would normally do. I just want God to have his way tonight. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. 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 You want to start off with prayer or you want me to start off with prayer? I thought you said you were going to pray. You thought I said that? <laughs> so when you pray, then bless the food and then we'll enter in. That way when you get done, we'll be ready. Oh, okay. Are we going to sing before we eat? Right, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, we got to. Okay. Man, all right. <laughs> Look, I released God and boy, boy who let the doors out? Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, y'all. Look, I'm just, I told you, I'm just, I'm just going to be me tonight. All right, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you tonight. We thank you. Oh, God, we thank you for your love and kindness, which is better than life itself, Father. And therefore, our lips shall praise you all the days of our lives. We thank you that tonight has been set aside for just an opportunity for us to lift up your name, for us to lift up our testimonies, for us to see you high and lifted up and to to give you glory and to give you praise, to thank you for the things, that, Father, that you have done in our lives, things that, that we had no control over, things that we thought it was going to end us. It, we thought it was going to be different. But, Father, some kind of way you worked it out. And we know that only your hand being upon this thing, it changed the course, God. It changed time. It, it changed circumstances. It changed our lives because you put your hand on it, Father. We thank you, God, that tonight we give you thanks. We glorify your name. We thank you, God, that whatever you want to do tonight, God, have your way. Father, we move out of your way tonight. We ask that you come in. Father, dine with us, Lord. Have your way. God, be exalted in this place tonight. Be exalted in this place tonight, Father. Have your way, God. Lord, we lift up the name of Jesus, the name greater than any name. Father, the name higher than any name, the name that we call upon. Father, God, when we are in trouble, the name of Jesus. Father, we call upon the name of Jesus because we know Father God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We know, God, that we are healed, God, from the, by the stripes of Jesus. We are healed. We call upon the name of Jesus because we know, Father, that Jesus is a problem solver, God. God, you sent him to this earth, and he, he came, and he healed us, God. And, Father God, we're not waiting on healing, God. We decree and declare healing now in the name of Jesus. You said it's already done. On the cross, Jesus, you said that it was finished. That means everything you came to do, Jesus, is done. Now we stand on faith, Father, believing that whatever we need, Father God, we shall receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you tonight, Father. We thank you. You are the great God. You're the great Father. There's no one higher and there's no one higher than you. There's no circumstance better than you, God. We thank you, God, that you are the one, oh, the only one, God, that can solve every need, God, that can replace, God, everything that's been lost, God. You are the one that can redeem time, God. You are the one, Father. Oh, God, and we thank you, Father, and that tonight, tonight, God, We lift up holy hands in this place. God, and we lift up holy hands in your presence. And we thank you, God, for all that you've done and all that you're doing in our lives, God. And and for this, Lord, for this will forever give you praise. And, God, I thank you for your people, God, who have come tonight, God. God, whether it be here in person or those that are coming virtually, we thank you for them, God. God, we thank you for their boldness, God, that they will stand up and give a testimony of what God has done in their lives, Father. We thank you, God, that tonight, God, we step on the head and on the neck of the enemy, God. God, by our testimony, you said it by the testimony of of the saints, God. God, that we're overcomers. God, by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony, we step on his head today. We crush his head today that the enemy will have no power or authority, Father. And God, that he cannot shut our mouths, nor can he tie our tongues, God, tonight. That you will get the glory, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you. 
We give you praise, Father, and we say hallelujah, God. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah, Father, and we bless you tonight, Lord. Now, Father, we ask that you bless the food that we shall consume tonight. God, let your hand, God, be upon it, Father. As we consume it, God, let it bless, God, this, the, the, these temples, God, that has been set aside for the use of the Holy Spirit, Father, that dwells within us, God. We thank you for the hands that has prepared it. Bless them, oh God, the more, Father. And God, we give you grace, we give you praise, we give you glory, God, for even blessing us, God, for being our, our, our provider tonight. We thank you for it now, and it's in the mighty master's name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, let's glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo, Amen. Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We're going to do this first song tonight. I know y'all like waiting on me to get off the stage, well, right? The, the, it's, it's a Thanksgiving night. I thought they don't switch sound men on you. <laughs> oh, they don't switch sound men on you. <laughs> Make sure it comes on so we can hear the first note, bro. No, I ain't used to this. That's just coming on, first one. Yeah, that's it. That's it.
what you done for me How you loose my shackles and you set me free How you made a way out of no way Turn my darkness into day You bring my joy in the time of sorrow Hope for my tomorrow Peace in the time of storm Strength when the weak and worn I can never repay you, Lord, for what you done for me How you loose my shackles and you set me free How you made a way out of no way What you done for me? How you lose my shackles and you set me free? How you made a way out of no way? You turned my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free? How you made a way out of no way? You turned my darkness into You are 
Say it, man. I just want to do this. <laughs> you want to just do I just this. want to just do this. But I want to, I mean, because as we were standing here singing, and I was reminded that that's really where we met. That's how we met. <laughs> yeah. And I can't remember the last time we actually sang together like this. Yeah. But I am so thankful. Amen. So that's my testimony. I am so thankful that God God allowed us our cross paths to cross, even in how we met, you know, and um, I'm just grateful and I'm thankful to God just for bringing you into my life. I am. I really am. And as we were singing, I'm like, man, this is how we met. I'm like, oh, my goodness. It It just brought back a flood of memories, emotions, and I was just, uh, it just took me to a place of just being grateful. Well, praise God. I thank God for your testimony. Didn't know I was going to be in it tonight, but uh, I'll take it. I'll receive it. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, I'm just grateful. You know, there's a part in that song, Great and Mighty, and there's a part in the song that I call you healer. Mm -hmm. Your name is healer. You have been a healer to me. And so when I think about the things that God has healed me from, you know, and for me to still be standing here today. My God. And, um, you know, I, I just give into account mm. of what statistics, statistics would say yeah. in terms of my condition and yet be feeling more healthier today than I've ever felt before. Mm. And, of course, you know, age is one thing. We can't stop the aging process, you know. So some of the things, the ailments that I do feel, they're just natural ailments. Mm. But, anything, but I have no residue from the cancer. I have no residue from, from, from having to, you know, you know, no residue, you know, and so I just thank God for that, that, that every time I go get a test done and go get the scan and everything like that, you know, we get a good report, and so, and you know, and so I just, just, I just thank God for the fact that I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Oh, glory to God, look, oh, look. But so, amen. So yeah. So do you want to just break now so they can start getting something to right, eat? Right. But yeah. can we have someone to come do a testimony while we're eating? While, you, the, know. you know, everyone else, go ahead and get your food. Mm-hmm. Um, but as we're getting your food, you know, anyone who wants to come up and testify, just come up and give us a testimony. You know, and then of course, I've already for those that may have been joining us late virtually, I put it out there that if you want to call in, you can call in, and we're going to put your testimony. We're going to put you on loudspeaker, and you can declare your testimony. Morning on the loudspeaker, we'll put your, your the, the phone to the mic, and uh, so if you're looking for that number, if you don't have the number, the number is 706. I feel like I'm doing a marathon, not a marathon. What you call that? 
It's a telethon. Yeah. The number is 706-566-2785. Call now. Call now. 706-566-2785. We're waiting on your call. <laughs> Amen. But if there's anyone, anyone has a testimony that's in the house tonight, I just want to come, come on up and just share your testimony. Anybody? Cliff. That's what I'm talking about. That's my covenant brother. Come on up here, my covenant brother. Well, as he's coming, I'm going to go fix my plate. Yeah, y'all go fix y'all plate. Please, y'all go get some. Don't be shy. Come on, family. We're shy. Come on up here, Cliff. Come on, brother. Yes, hey, man. All right. You need me to stay with you? Well, my testimony is, a, is a, probably a little different from most people, you know, the things that they ask for uh, from God is, is probably not like what I ask. But um, I, I, the same God, and, and, and you know what? He, he does the same thing for me like he would anybody else. And so, but anyway, um, Several months ago, the guys in the uh, in the car club they asked me to um, put this particular car in the parade. They like for me to bring the thirty mile cars because they say most of the guys got muscle cars and not many have the thirties. So they wanted me to bring a thirty, and of course I've got another thirty I could have brought, but then they asked for this particular one, the Willis Knight. And I said, you know that car, I haven't touched that car for probably 12 years. You know, it's been sitting in behind the house. He said, well, man, can you get it together by the time of the parade? Now, this was last spring. I said, oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll have it ready. Yeah. So I set out to do that. And let me tell you. Looked like the devil told me, nope, it's not going to happen. Because every day I started to work on that car, something came up. I could just couldn't do it. And all summer went by. Fall got here. And, and every looked like, I, you know, I was about to just throw my hands in the air. Until I sit down, I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, now. I told these guys that I would have this car in the parade and look like the devil is telling me that's not going to happen. I said, now I'm asking you to please, Lord, let me get this car ready for this parade. And as time came, got closer and closer, and, 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 and I, I almost started to out God I said now I know that he's I asked this he's going to do this for me but these things are still happening every time I try to work something happened that I couldn't and it just time was passing and we're getting out to the last minute and and I'm laying in the bed and the Lord told me says what did I tell you I said well told me the car's going to be ready, but I've got, I named so many things I got to do, and I only got like four days to get it done. <laughs> and he said, again, what did I tell you? And let me tell you, the parade is Friday, and the car is ready today. <laughs> so, and so, but those are the kind of things that, you know, sometimes we think what we're asking God for is either too big or too little. You know, he knows your heart. He knows your heart and he deal with that. So whatever that you want to ask him for, you ask him for it and watch him make it work. <laughs> and that's my thought. <laughs> that's all right, bro. Come here, man. That's all right. Look. So you said that, look, that to me, because the Bible says that he'll give you the desires of your heart. And see, God knows exactly what your heart is, man, and he knows what moves. See, when, when, when he's able to give you the desires of your heart, he knows that your heart then begins to 
you know, reflect his goodness and kindness. And then what you do, you stand up here and you tell the world, man, this is how good God is because he gave you desires in your heart. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, ain't, it ain't about what kind of testimony. It's the fact that you got one. Come on now. The fact that you got one. <laughs> Bless you, man of God. Thank you. Amen. Anybody else? There you go, sir. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Come on up here, my brother. Bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. Take your time. Take your time with it. Take your time with it. Oh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I am a cancer survivor also. And stuff. I, uh, when I first found out that I had cancer, everybody tells me, man, don't go get don't, don't go get no surgery because that stuff going to spread all over your body. But I got a relentless that I love my wife. She ain't going to let nothing like that go. She said, no, we're going to some, some more doctors and everywhere and stuff like that. So I had surgery that took two-thirds of my stomach out. It got me where I couldn't, you know, I could just eat partial foods and stuff like that. And I had a feeding tube. I never had to use it, and, but uh, I'll never forget this one. All my family was out there when I went in for surgery that day, and uh, I was laying on the operating table, getting ready to go in there, getting ready to put me around there, everybody crying and going on and stuff like that. Tears came out of my eyes too, but when I hit that next corner, some kind of way them tears run away, and I didn't reach up to wipe nothing down and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't, I, really, I don't know what happened, but I said, I thank God that I'm still here today. Yeah. And uh, yeah. but uh, the doctor, Doctor Linda Foreman, she's a little Asian lady. I mean, that lady, she worked with me. I'm telling you, for. I don't know how long, a long time, and everything she did. She told me, said, Mr. Clifton said, there's a test I want you to take after they did the surgery. She found a spot that they left. So she said, there's this test I want to give you and stuff like that. But she said, they don't have it here. You're going to have to go to Tennessee to get it. Lo and behold, the next week, down behind the shopping center, they got that test in. They got in right test and stuff like that, yeah. So... So I'm, I'm just very thankful. I'm thankful for my family and all my friends and everything, stuff like that, my pastor. And uh, it, one other thing happened to me. It was on a Friday. i never forget this. I knew it was raining and storming out there. And uh, all of a sudden, that was a beautiful, bright, bright light just came to me and stuff like that. It was just like, I looked around. I said, no, nah, I know it's got to be storming out there and stuff like this and stuff like that. But I saw that light. I said, Lord, I'm, blessed. I'm still looking for it again. I'm trying to tell you. But it, it, so, and right now, I'm going through a thing right now, but I'm not going to worry about it because uh, they told me I had congested heart failure. So uh, I'm just hanging on. And, and praying to the good Lord that I can get through this too. Thank you. Amen. 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 Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. My wife, we want to pray. We want to pray. We wanna, we're just going to pray. We're going to stand in faith. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to pray and stand in, stand in agreement. Yeah, we're going to stand in agreement. Ha, <laughs> ha. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We stand in agreement with his faith. God, you asked once before, um, do you believe? Jesus, you asked the man that wanted to be that wanted to be healed, the man that wanted to see, do you believe? The man that needed his child healed, you asked, do you believe? And Father God, he is standing here today, and he said out of his mouth that he believed, God. You are the healer. You've done it once, Father, and you can do it again. 
Now, Father, we decree and declare over his life, God, that he shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. We thank you, Father, that he is healed from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, Father. As you're doing a work, God, through his body, Lord. We thank you, God, that even now, God, that his body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, Father. God, that is doing exactly what you have positioned it to do. We thank you, God, for the healing that shall manifest. And, Father, God, that when he goes to the doctor for his next visit, Father God, that they will give him an A-plus, God, an A-plus grade, Father, that all things are working well. Father, you said that all things will work together for the good of them that, 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 that love you and that are called according to your purpose. We thank you now, God, for this man's life, God. We thank you, Father, for his faith. And we pray, God, that he shall let live, God, that others, God, may believe that you're able, God, to do the impossible, that you're able, Father, to do the things, God, that no man can, can do. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Glory. Amen. Bless you, man. Bless you. Amen. Anybody else? Come on now. Praise God. 24 karat date is coming up in the house. Bless you, man. Give me some love, bro. Well, this testimony is for my daughter. I'm going to do mine a little later. You know, but... um. She couldn't be here tonight, so she was, uh, she actually had gave me two of them. First one is, um, she has a, she's a store manager, so she has a coworker that she works with. Um, and, um, they never talked about, because she lived, she needs a, she wanted to, she was wanting to get a car seat for Khalil because he's getting older. And, uh, she never talked to his coworker about it, and the coworker came to her the other day and said, do you need a car seat? I have a Tyler car seat that you need. Wow. Um, just just out the blue, and they never talked about it. And then the next one is um, she was working down here, in, um, I believe, in Auburn, because she's really based in Phoenix City. And um, she comes to stores when they ask her to, you know, to run a store. So one particular day, she went to um, Auburn working in a store, and a coworker just came to her and blessed her meal. And she just out of the blue. Yeah, I want to bless you. Amen. So. What a wonderful thing. Amen? Amen. Well, since I'm up here, I might as well go ahead and do mine. You know what I mean? So, you know, when they say when a man finds a wife, he finds it's a what? A good thing. But let me tell y'all, I'm proud to say I'm the big five zero. You know? So my wife, she surprised me with a, a birthday party, surprise birthday party, and it was, oh, man, out of this world. Ooh, ooh. Well, I can't tell you, boy. Anyway, so I went to basic in 1992. Um, um, probably about, you know, after 90, about 92, uh, 95, we were stationed in Louisiana. So there was this guy that I was stationed with, um, and we had become pretty close, you know? Um, so after 95, um, we had, you know, we had pretty much parted ways. So, um, recently, um, I had talked to him like a couple months ago on Facebook you know what I mean? We were just talking back and forth. He had found, got in touch with me. And uh, so my birthday party, you know, I'm, go I'm going to the birthday party. I walk in there, and uh, I see these people, people, and then I hear something about October 92, and here comes my friend that I have not seen since 1995, y'all. I mean, 1995. I mean, you know, it's, it's it, after that, after we parted ways in Louisiana, he was still in my mind, but you know, when you don't really see him no more, they kind of like leave from your mind. But thank God he contacted me, and wow, I was so surprised to see him. We hugged him, man. It's, it's a blessing. So I want to thank God for relationships, you know what I mean? Because tomorrow is not promised, you know what I mean? So I thank God that we got back in touch with each other. You know, we talk now every week, so, you know, and prayerfully, I'm going to go see him next year sometime, but... That's a, that's, that's a great thing. So I want to thank my wife again. So you always got to thank your wife. You help me, Pastor. Nothing like a help me, boy. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Wonderful, brother. All right. We got room for one more, two more, three more, four more. We got room. Anybody else? Anybody else? Come on. Don't be shy. Nah, don't be shy. No, you have to do like everybody else. That's what, that's what tonight is about. It's about coming up, giving God the glory. And you said this the other day. You said, it's not about me. Pastor, pastor, it's not about me. God is telling me it's not about me anymore. So 
If it ain't about you, come on, let's do it. I'm going to remind you what you said now. God's going to remind you what you said. Come on now, you got to do what everybody else is doing now. I got you. You need me to step here with you? Yeah. Okay, I'll step here with you. You keep it moving. Now look, keep it, keep it right to your mouth. <laughs> oh, to God be the glory. I'm not going to be afraid. Um, no, uh. <laughs> it's been a journey. It's been a journey. I've been down here. This is my second year down here. As of May, it'll be two years I've been oh, in man. Alabama. Yeah, I came down here with your brother. But um, I thank God. I thank God that I did stay. Because for the first year, I'm not going to lie, I stayed in my house. Death knocked on my door many a time. For the first six months, I was ready to go. I just didn't feel like I could stay here without him because he was my everything. He was my world. It was nothing we didn't do together. Let's make a long story short. In 2012, I was diagnosed with um, diabetes. And it was a, it took me for a loop for three months. I was in denial. I got into the hospital. I went into a coma and, um, I stayed in the hospital for three months, and my son, every, I had one son, every day I opened my eyes, he was sitting at the bottom of my feet, and he would say, Mommy, and I couldn't hear him, but I heard him say, Mommy, because she kept putting a needle in my stomach. I said, why do you keep doing that? She said, don't you take this at home? I said, I don't have diabetes. Stop doing that. She said, you do. Coming to two weeks ago, a week ago, matter of fact. I had forgot what that felt like. They ran out of Victoza. I take Victoza for, it's not insulin, but it's an injection I take in my stomach every day. They ran out of it down here. And I hadn't had it for a month, and I didn't understand why I kept sleeping so much. For four months, I was sleeping on and off and on and off and on and off. I couldn't figure out what it was. So Sunday, I came in, and I got prayer. Pastor Latrella praying for me, and I said, okay, I'm going to sip this lemon water in. I'm going to be okay. I'm, I'll go to the hospital the next day. Deaconess Marsha took me to the store to get some groceries before we went to the hospital. Instantly, I just started coming down in cold sweats. I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. I was thirsty. She said, we need to get you to the hospital now. Doctor asked me, she said, um, Why'd you wait so long? I said, I called y'all to ask y'all, did y'all have the Victoza? Y'all told me no. She said, I'm so sorry. She said, but we have to weed out the people that need it because people are buying it to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And instantly I just started breaking down and I said, what about the people that need it? By the time I got there, had I not been drinking this lemon water, I don't know what my levels would have been. But by the time I got there, my levels was 499. She said, okay, honey, I'm going to give you 10 cc's of insulin. If her body does not take to this, we're going to have to put her in ICU, and we don't know how long she's going to be. I said, okay, God, I'm leaving this in your hands. At first, I argued with them, and I was like, I don't want no insulin. I'm not taking this. I was on the phone with my daughters, and prayer came up because I pray with our sister, Pam, in North Carolina Mm -hmm. every Monday. I said, I need to go to prayer. I said, I'll be right back with y'all. I need to go to prayer. After I came from prayer, I said, you know what? I heard God say humble. And I remember Troy saying that when I didn't want to take the injection. He said, you need to humble yourself. So when I came off prayer, I said to the nurse that was over me, and I said, "Um," I said, you know what? I'm going to humble myself. Whatever you got to do to get me out of this condition Mm -hmm. where I don't feel this no more, I'll do whatever I got to do. So they came back in with the insulin, and they gave me 10 cc's, and I fell asleep for about an hour. She said, if she does not react to this, we're going to have to take her upstairs to ICU. I stayed asleep for about an hour. It went from 499 to 282. She said, okay, we got you. She said, she said when she came back in, she said, we have your Victoza upstairs, and whenever you need it, it's here. Tell your foreman, we got it here. I thank God for it because it could have been another way. (laughs) Praise God. Blessing and obedience. Amen. Sometimes we humble ourselves for the the greater good, even if it's for ourselves. And 
And I just, I just, I'm thankful that you hear the voice of God, sis, and that you hear me and you just went ahead and did what you have to do uh, because you're standing here today. You know, you're standing here today just by being obedient and doing what God has told you to do. You're standing here today. And your life is important. You know, you have to always see your life as being important. And that someone else, you have been placed here for someone else. And so I don't know who all may have listened to your testimony tonight, maybe going through the same situation, but someone heard your testimony tonight. And if not tonight, because this is being recorded, it may be tomorrow or maybe next week. But somebody's going to be blessed based on your testimony. Amen. 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 Can we give uh, Trevor come on a hand of her testimony? <laughs> Praise God. We got anybody else wants to give a testimony? We all eating. We, 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 we're eating. You're not going to eat today, bro? You're not going to eat? No? Did you know Sister Mary, she cooked that stuff? <laughs> oh, but this is food. This is real food. This ain't sweets. This is some real food right here. Well, praise God. Well, let me see. Um, have we, did we get anything in the feed? Anybody want to give a testimony in the feed? No, t- no feed? Well, amen. I, I, I'm going to, um, well, and, well, normally our Bible study normally lasts for about an hour. And so we're, we're going to just close this session and and so the rest of us that are here we're just going to continue the fellowship i want to thank all of you that are that are out there watching us tonight that came in and joined in with us tonight for tonight's um uh, keep it 100 twist twist or you know twist what we call it a twist bible study twist hmm? you were saying something yeah Yeah, I asked. No, no one else had a testimony, so we're good. We're just going to close out. Just want, but I do want to, as 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 it is my custom to do so, I want to give anyone an opportunity to give their Lord their life to the Lord tonight. And so we never want to leave without, you know, giving an opportunity for those that may not be saved, that may be watching, or that may be in the room, and want to give their life to the Lord tonight. I do want to again thank each and every one of you for watching tonight and for being a participant of tonight's Bible study. Uh, I was looking for you to give us, send us a testimony tonight, but if not tonight, put it in the chat, or even send it in, a, you know, in our prayer requests on our, um, our Facebook page or our um, website. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, but again, for those that need to give their life to the Lord tonight, I want to rededicate. Say this prayer with me. It's a simple prayer, prayer of salvation. Father God, you know my life, and you know how I've lived it. I ask you, Father, to come into my heart and forgive me of my sins. I believe in your son. His name is Jesus. He died on the cross for me. They buried him in a tomb. But on the third day, he rose from the dead with all power in his hands. That power. Is what saves me. Thank you, Father, for saving me and giving me new life through Jesus Christ. Amen, 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 amen. We applaud those who may have given their life to the Lord tonight. We want to hear from you. If you did give your life to the Lord or rededicated your life tonight, we want to hear about it. Please send us a chat. Give us a phone call. Whatever it is, we want to make sure that that we are recording what God is doing in your life. And we also want to make sure that we're supporting whatever it is that God's doing in your life. We love you guys so much. I'm Pastor T. Pastor Latrilla is here with the Bridgeites here in Opelika, this big, big city of Opelika where God lives. We thank God for you guys for joining in. You guys know what's up. We're out. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Amen. I, I, I followed the